Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Yolanda. And this is where I do makeup tutorials, product reviews, and everything literally to do with beauty. So today's video is on something I want to call Makeup Made Easy. And I want to kick my YouTube channel off with a bang. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the artistry of makeup with me. So before I continue, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out any of my videos. Makeup has this transformative effect that if you have the right technique, you are able to create. I love makeup. I love the art of makeup. I also love my skin and I'm comfortable in my skin. And I think that's a great thing about being a woman. It's knowing and accepting who you are, but at the same time, you know you have the skills to create a powerful change if you desire. And with all my upcoming videos based on Makeup Made Easy, I want to give you the skills to create the change if you desire. So I've broken everything down into categories and thereafter each category will be further broken down and each category will have its own video so you don't have to go watch thousands of videos to get it right and this way that each category will have its own video it will be easier to understand and more accessible and the first category and the topic of today's video is beauty tools. Okay, so one frequently asked question I always get and I see that a lot of people always ask is what brush do you use for what? Yes, there are so many different shapes of brushes, different densities and it can be confusing on what brush to use. So I'm going to break everything down for you and we're going to start with a basic sponge. Trust me. These two sponges, different shapes, but they're the same. You don't have to have all different shapes. One standard sponge is enough. Okay, so let's get into some detail on brushes and what's really going on here. So I'm going to give you guys a little rundown about all the brushes I think you absolutely need to have in your set. But if you have other brushes, I will explain what they are and what they do but i'm going to give you the bare necessities first okay so i have come to the conclusion that if you're a beginner um you need just 10 brushes 10 brushes to do your whole face and i'm going to break it down from the simplest one to the most complex for you guys so for me i feel like the simplest one is a spoolie and if you don't know what a spoolie is learn it today because you need it and it's this brush that's like this it's basically a comb for your eyebrows i think everybody needs to have one of these so these comes like in a disposable pack but try and find yourself um a brush set that comes with a spoolie. I thankfully found one after searching and I love it. You need one like this. Okay, and then on the topic of eyes, you will need an eyeliner brush. And it looks like this. It's flat, it is slanted like this, it is very dense compacted very stiff brush and an eyeliner brush for eyeline eyeliner and this is helps if you want to do a wing eyeliner would be your best friend it's the easiest way trust me so for eyeliner then for your eye shadow and your eyeshadow looks a basic basic eyeshadow look needs three brushes and there they are uh, I'm gonna show you one at a time let's start with the densest so this brush here 
it's quite dense it's around at the top i can hear can you see how dense it is extremely dense and if you can see i use this to go into my crease like that i love it works like a bomb then you'll need a brush like this so it is fluffier look can you see that and it's also round dome brush short bristles and this is to blend and it could be used to blend anything as well yeah so you could use this to blend your crease you could use this to add another color and blend that together with the color in your crease you could do a lot of things with an eyeshadow brush like this and then so this would usually maybe be your darkest color then your medium color and then you need a color a brush that's somewhat like this and this is way way more fluffy um the bristles are longer it's also round and domed but way more fluffy uh fluffier than this one and this would be normally for your lightest color and it's also to blend so literally this is for a very basic eyeshadow look okay <clears throat> then let's go on to face and anything in your complexion so i'm gonna start with a powder brush easiest so a powder brush could be literally any size but it just depends how you want to set and where you want to set your face so literally any one of these three brushes can be a powder brush any one of these three brushes there you go this is bigger brush for bigger surface area medium brush and a small brush okay so let's say this was our powder brush then we can go to blush and highlighter again these two brushes are quite versatile if you look at them they're quite similar as well this is a bit more um fluffy this is a bit more dense i would like to use the dense brush for blush because the placement is more precise with a denser brush then you'll use the fluffier brush for highlighter and i just literally take the highlighter let's pretend this is highlighter and run my brush in like this and use it as a highlighter there's also those fan brushes that can be used as a highlighter which is always good but I don't have one I don't use it I like this one then we have this brush that is angled like this it's dense denser than all those three brushes it is the densest I mean you, you would use this for bronzing not contour bronzing okay so bronzing is usually a powder and yeah you would use this for bronzing we would get to bronzing and all of that in later videos then you would need a brush like this it's not necessary but a brush like this that's a bit flat and dense you use this for concealer like blending your under eyes and stuff like that but again not totally necessary i just like how concealer brushes blend out concealer um better than a beauty blender because a beauty blender s absorbs a lot of product whereas with a brush you have more coverage so that's your 10 basic brushes um i'm gonna go in to detail with these brushes now so you saw those brushes that i showed you um this one i said i use for highlighter however you get brushes the, this is literally the exact same brush i have three of them 
that are exactly the same like same density same fluffiness they're the same in every way so you could use these three brushes again for powder for highlighter as I said for blush these three brushes very very versatile brush okay um these as well if you like if you're a blush person then and you'd like a lot of brush blush sorry um a big brush like this works it's not um it's extremely fluffy but it is also a bit compact um like this one that i showed you so this is compact as well as this one so it can pass for a blush brush this one as well this is also a really good powder brush um lots of things these big fluffy brushes very very versatile you guys are gonna think that this is so weird but i have tons and i mean tons of flat brushes and let me show you so you get these brushes like this that are like a concealer brush just a bit more flat yes you can use this as a concealer brush perfect you could also use this to do a cut crease so again it's round and flat so you could use them for concealers for cut crease um a lot of stuff but i also because i have hooded eyes i like also to use them in my crease so i have tons of these round flat brushes um this as well round flat could be used in your crease for concealer cut crease you name it there then you get these ones that are just like that but they flat or angled you can use this for placement of your concealer you could use this for placement of your contour you could use this to blend out your concealer you could use this for eyeliner again um lots of stuff then you have these smaller ones that you could use for brows you could use for um any details that you want to do in your eye if you want to do um like if you want to draw a flower you would take a small brush like this and draw a flower so if you literally the possibilities are endless i find myself using so many of these flat brushes and sometimes i think to myself i don't even know what i would use these brushes for but i find a way somehow when i'm doing my makeup um is it necessary for the everyday person i don't think so because they do have a lot of uses maybe you need one or two not as many as i do though um but i have so many because like i buy a lot of brush sets and they come in the set so it like accumulates over there <laughs> Okay, then you have a brush like this i don't know if you would call this a brush but it doesn't have bristles it's almost like rubber but it is it feels like rubber and this is a smudge brush so if you have eyeliner you want to smudge your eyeliner or whatever use this i like using it like even on my lip if i want to do like an ombre lip i use it to smudge the two colors together then um you also get foundation brushes now foundation brushes is so there's like three different types of foundation brushes you get a kabuki brush you get a stippling brush and you get that flat foundation brush that looks like this but bigger so this if you have a foundation brush like this that is flat and it's bigger it's just literally you put it on your face and you spread it that's all it does and literally you can do it with your sponge or your finger or whatever you don't need this flat foundation brush at all then you get your foundation brush that's kind of 
like this that's dense sometimes it's round sometimes it's got like a small um angle sometimes it's a bigger angle like this one and this you can blend out your foundation depending on the technique you use and how you blend it will depend on how the foundation looks on your face sometimes it will have streaks sometimes it will not have streaks it just depends on how you use it what you do sometimes even after you go with this brush you will still have to go in with your beauty blender then you have a brush like this and this is your stippling or kabuki brush and this also blends in your foundation but definitely this leaves streaks and you will definitely need to go in with your beauty blender after this um and then you have this old school type of eyeshadow brush um i use it to place down glitters and shimmers um it's really nice and i also keep it because it's really cute um then i titled this video makeup tools and you don't just have brushes and sponges you also have powder puffs and i don't you can buy powder puffs on their own but i however don't use i have one that came in with my powder and this is what it looks like it's dirty but this is a powder puff and it's in the name you use it for powder then you also get things like your eyelash color and this is one i don't use it very often because i don't feel like it works and then you get like your jade roller your gua sha stuff like that for your skincare i don't have it because i honestly don't use it but it feels really nice on the skin so that brings us to the end of today's videos about makeup tools i hope you like this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and my next video is going to be on skincare skin prep and skin types you guys don't want to miss that one so definitely hit the bell icon so you don't miss out and yeah i love you all and i'll see you all in the next one